Happy Ramadan everyone. It is that month of the year where Muslims fast for an entire month. They eat after sunset but they fast between sunrise and sunset. It's about cleansing your body. It's a detox month. A lot of people use it for spiritual detoxation. Soup is a major um, uh, uh, part of the meal at uh, breaking the fast and I learned this soup from my father. It is um, a yogurt soup and sometimes my father made this yogurt soup as a substitute for other soups. He basically simply took yogurt, put it in a pot, boiled it and then he put a little bit of uh, mint uh, on, on top. I loved it. My mother thought that was not a great uh, soup but we all loved it. So today I'm taking my father's recipe and I'm adapting the mushroom soup with cream, a cream of mushroom, and I'm adapting that to make my mushroom soup with yogurt. So thanks dad. So in this soup I'm using 500 grams of chestnut mushrooms. Chestnut mushrooms have a lot of flavor. They are absolutely delicious so I choose this kind of mushroom. I'm also using half an onion, about 60 grams, and I'm using two cloves of garlic. Garlic has so many antioxidants and it's great for your blood pressure. So in Ramadan, if you are eating and drinking a lot, garlic can be a very beneficial item. So what we will start is by washing these mushrooms. In cold water, of course, because hot water may stain them. So cold water is good. These are clean mushrooms, so they should be okay. So now I'm going to start cutting the mushrooms. Very you know, very roughly because I'm going to mince everything in the uh, food processor after I make the juice. So I'm just going to cut them into strips, you know, like that. Don't worry about, you know, precision or size because everything is going to cook together. And then after that, they're going to go through the food processor. We're done chopping the mushrooms. This is about 500 grams and uh, the soup should serve about four people in total. And the next thing I will do is prepare this onion. I'm going to make a soup for four people and I'm going to use half of this onion. This is red onion and it tastes really good in a, in a soup. And two cloves of, uh, of garlic and that should be sufficient for a soup that I'm going to make. And I'll show you the yogurt later. Let's chop these onions. Okay, the onion and garlic is ready. It's time to saute them and sweat them in a pan. This is the size of pan I'm gonna make the soup in, and this is sufficient for four people. That amount of mushroom is going to reduce by size to fit into half of this. You'll see it's an incredible process because it contains so much water, and this is good juice that we need to keep for the soup and the flavor. So let's start by sweating these onions in this pan with the garlic with about mm, three to four tablespoons of olive oil and I'm making this with olive oil because I don't want to add a lot of butter and fat so let's start with these add a bit of salt about you know half a teaspoon and some pepper So we're almost done. The onions are sauteing, sweating, and the mushrooms have been chopped and cut and prepared. I just want to explain to you about the yogurt that's going to go into uh, this soup. It is again my father's recipe. It is uh, a resemblance of a Jordanian dish called shakriya from the word shakir or shakira. You know shakira, the dancer. But this is, uh, it means thankful, grateful. And my father inspired himself, you know, by, by having shakriya and made his, uh, this soup based on, the, on that. This is zero fat yogurt, which is gonna turn the soup into a very beautiful, acidic, sour uh, soup, and I love that. And this is zero fat, it's a combination of uh, cultured yogurt and Greek style yogurt. And I'm also adding a very interesting ingredient that I found here. This is what the Bedouins drink in, in the Middle East and in the, uh, all over the, the Middle East and North Africa. It is called Iran um, uh, yogurt, it is basically 
goat or cow yogurt that is shaken and made into sort of a fermentation process that tastes very acidic and quite nice. It has a lot of flavor into it. So what I would uh, like to do is use about 750 grams of yogurt and about 200 grams of ayran into this mix as soon as the mushrooms and the, the onions are mixed and cooked. And I'll show you the process once we start. So now I started adding the mushrooms and I'm going to add them in portions because the mushrooms will reduce as we cook them. So take your time. The mushrooms have reduced and they cooked very well. As you can see, there is a little bit of water that I left there. That's where all the flavor is contained and it is absolutely delicious it smells amazing and right now i am going to add the yogurt that i told you about so all of that is going to go in and the heat is now is on medium medium high because i'm going to cook this to warm up and don't worry if the uh, yogurt splits or breaks because that's the protein uh, separating from the whey and no, that, that's not an issue at all. So I've added this yogurt and now I am going to add the ayran yogurt and it's very liquid. This gives the soup a bit of a liquid consistency. And now I turn the heat up to medium, medium high and wait for it to heat up. We have to keep stirring because I don't want the yogurt to split in a, to a degree where I can't combine it anymore. This is going to go through the food processor, but make sure you continue to stir as you heat the yogurt up. This smells amazing. The yogurt has been cooking for about 5 minutes to 10 minutes approximately. As you can see, the yogurt has started to split the milk solids from the whey, so I can show you. And I think now it's ready to be transferred to the food processor to be blended into a thick creamy soup. Let's do that. All right, it's cooked. I've checked the consistency. I've checked the seasoning. Everything is in good shape. I'm ready to plate. Look how creamy it is. It's absolutely marvelous. There's zero cream in this. It's just zero fat yogurt and mushrooms. All the goodness in one plate. So I've got a pretty plate that I want to plate this in. And I saved some mushrooms that I cooked earlier so I can garnish my soup with and they look absolutely delicious. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. And to add a bit of a, a touch, I have my fresh parsley over here. I'll just take a sprig and it's clean. It's been washed. There you go. But there you have it. My mushroom soup. Thanks to the chestnut mushrooms and thanks to my father for his recipe for the yogurt substitute. It's amazing, it's very creamy, it smells amazing. The mushroom flavor is coming out and I'm loving this. And I can't believe you know, no one has tried this before. So please try it at home and let's try this together. The crew is waiting to taste this. Oh, memories of my father are coming back. Bon appetit, let's dig in guys. Mmm, so good, yummy.